Well, oh, hi everybody. It's uh, me, Michael Davis, MCD Reptiles again. Hey, I just did a remake on my uh, on my uh, tank again. Um, anyways, I didn't like the fact that I had filled the whole thing up with water and found out that's not a good thing because the little guy didn't have any land for him to go on. And I did put a little island uh, of land in there, but it was in a plastic tub and it looked kind of tacky to me. So I decided, you know, what, I'm going to go ahead and go through with the idea of making half land, half water. So anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys what I've got done so far, and I hope you guys really like what you see, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel, and I'll be now showing you guys the setup. We're going to be, just guys get to join me on the setup. So enjoy, enjoy the show, and um, we'll see how it goes. Alright, thank you so very much. Now you see here is that I have this water up here right now. I was checking to make sure it was leaking, not leaking. More adding the soil to it right now. I'm making another brick of soil for, for it to add another layer of this. And then the next stuff I'm going to be adding on is this reptipart, is this reptipart on top of that. Because apparently just having that in there is not good because it'll jump in here and mess up the filtration system. And I don't want that. I'm hoping though that I can eventually add some fish in here. Although people tell me, don't you add fish in here because you'll probably go for it. I'm thinking because this little guy has been there, he's on nothing but crickets and mealworms his whole life. The minute he sees a fish, and I'm hoping that's the case, the minute he sees a fish, he's going to freak out and not even have a go at him. Because he's already turned his, they've been telling me that he's omnivorous, that water dragons are omnivorous. But, um, he's not omnivorous. He's an insectivore. And so, he won't, he'll occasionally eat fish, but not all the time. They don't eat fish all the time. It's like... If, they mainly eat, uh, if you feed them, in my point of view, if you go to like an aquarium and all that stuff, you normally see them going for, you normally see predators eat fish for, uh, if they're really, really hungry. They don't eat the fish in the aquarium, because they're always well fed. So I'm hoping that if I keep him well fed, he won't eat the fish in here either, so. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and check on that, uh, extra bottle of, I'm going to go ahead and check on that extra, uh, brick of substrate and see where we're at on that so I can start adding it more in here and that's what you guys will get to see in a little bit so yeah I'll be right back alright so you go ahead and just look at this and tell me what you think in the subscriptions of what you've seen so far and the video is not done yet we will we will be I will be right back so don't worry about that So anyways, yeah, that was probably my roommate Matt getting in the way of the video, but it's alright. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Checking on all this. Make sure this works in here. Got the filtration running already really well. Um, I did add another extra layer of rocks down here on the bottom just to make sure that if any water leakage gets here, it doesn't get my substrate too wet. The rocks might be able to keep the water level pretty much set up a natural water table. So I'm hoping that works. Honestly, my parents don't know. So while we're waiting on the extra brick, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we've been doing, alright? So let's go ahead and check out what I've been doing. Yeah, it's my kitchen. So anyways, like I said, I got another brick of substrate being made right now. 
it's still dissolving into it. So, yeah. So I'm using uh, what, the plantation soil here. Somebody, a breeder I know, told me to use plantation soil and a mix of the other and a mix of reptobark to the reptobark to make a good substrate for them. This is going to be a good base substrate because it holds a lot of moisture in it, and the reptobark will give, provide a little bit drier substrate for them that will release the pressure or at least the moisture into the enclosure slowly not all at once so like I said I'm hoping that this stuff works out really well for me so yeah I'm just breaking it up into little chunks right now trying to get it all mixed up in there I'm hoping this works out the way I want it to because this is this will be great if it does I've already added one brick of substrate to it washing my hands off. I always add a little bit more water if I don't think that, um, that it's breaking down the way it needs to be. And I always add just a tiny, tiny bit of water. You don't want to add too much to this or you will end up doing what you had to do with the first brick. Too much water and it didn't, and it wound up getting really swampy. <laughs> That's not what you want with this kind of substrate. All right, so this type of substrate, you don't want it getting swampy at all. You just want it in here breaking apart that's all you want alright so I'm hoping the more water I add the better so I'm realizing maybe I don't have enough water in it and then it wasn't breaking up as easy so I'm adding a lot more water to it now just to break just to bring the water a little up in there and I'm going to dump out the excess when I get to that point So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now, and uh, when we get back, we'll, and when we get back, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know. Okay, 